This is not really that much different than how we're already doing it. Um, I'll show you the differences. There's just a couple. First off, over here on the map info, please put a little bit of space between the slider bar and the text. Okay, um, this is basically how it looks right now. You come in, to, and it's the tropical island, <coughs> and uh, the tropical island map is there, the description there, and there's a big title that I've added, designed by Gabriel M. And then uh, there's the start from button that you've already made down there because you own this, so you can start from anything. Okay, if you hit Winter Wind Mountain, the Winter Wind Mountain button, then it looks like this. And of course, just like now, the map in the middle changes and uh, the title at the top changes, Winter Wind Mountain, and the description over in the map info will change. Uh, but the biggest different thing is um, that now here on the bottom, since you can't pick a spot because you've never hiked this before, it says buy a six-month pass, and then there's a $2 button. And this is kind of like the other thing where there was a phrase and then there was a button next to it. So we're kind of being uh, conforming with what you've already set up. Okay. Um, if they look at this map and they read it and they say, yeah, I want that, and they touch the $2, then it turns into this. The button turns from the plain black lettering into the green lettering that lets them know that they've purchased this now. And since they've already purchased it, the button down at the bottom and the phrase, it says start from uh start point or saved point okay uh that's it uh what happens when they go to buy i think you've already got that all made i just haven't seen it yet or maybe i saw it once but since you can only buy it once uh, i don't remember but that's okay however however you do that part okay let me know if you have any questions or if you don't like it or if I forgot something.